So, firing toward the International Space Station at 17,000 miles per hour probably didn't seem like such a big deal to Kate Rubens. That's because she is no stranger to inhospitable places. As a biologist, she's worked in the Congo doing fieldwork on monkeypox and handled some of the world's most dangerous pathogens in a biosafety level 4 facility. That launch was back in July. Rubens recently returned to Earth after four months of serious work on the space station, specifically of the genetic variety. Rubens and her astronaut cohort set out to determine if they could sequence DNA in microgravity, because the only thing cooler than sequencing DNA on Earth is doing it in space. Incredibly, it worked. In fact, the sequencing actually turned out better in space. After we got done with the tech dev part of it, we really shot right out of the gate and uh, ended up sequencing a little bit over 2 billion base pairs by the time I'd left. Rubens also ran experiments for culturing cells, seeing how the microbes are evolving in the microgravity of space. But working with such sensitive experiments in microgravity is a whole lot different than on Earth. The, the big delta is you're floating and you're controlling, controlling your motion with your feet while you're doing cell culture. There are Rubens now coming out of the Quest airlock to join Williams just outside. Rubens even got the chance to work outside, in the fresh air, on two spacewalks. As in, highly choreographed spacewalks she spent hundreds of hours practicing. You're working very, very hard. Um, but there is, there's a few minutes here and there where the grounds may be talking about something or you have to put your tools down and wait and uh, just getting a chance to look through your visor and, and see the planet go by was incredible. But all good space things must come to an end. On Saturday, Rubens boarded a Soyuz spacecraft with astronauts from Russia and Japan and plummeted back to Earth. After the initial shock of the parachutes deploying, she says the trip was relatively peaceful. But you're just a little bit along for the ride. Um, and then there's another huge impact when you land. That's uh, about like a car crash. And uh, you just, the capsule bounces and rolls a little bit and everything uh, settles down at some point. And uh, we looked out the window and we saw dirt. And so uh, we were pretty sure that we'd hit planet Earth at that point. <laughs> and thank the stars for that. Welcome home, Rubens. <laughs>